Howdy folks, Todd here with Great Escape Farms. Today I am pruning some pawpaw trees and I'm gonna show you how to prune them. I have, I think, seven, seven different examples here on how to prune them. All of them have different problems and one of them I don't even know if I'm gonna prune, maybe just to prevent it from going any taller. So I'm gonna give you different examples. At the bottom of the YouTube video, I'll actually put stamps on it. So if one pertains to your video or to your particular situation more so than some of the other ones here, you can just jump to that or jump around come back okay this particular tree right here is overgrown for what i need to do with it so i'm only able to do some of the cuts this year and i'll save the rest for next year real quick let me start the uh, pruning shears that i have i have both uh handheld and big loppers there they were all just cleaned with some rubbing alcohol and i will do that in between each time that i use it so i don't spread disease back and forth to any tree so if any tree was diseased i didn't spread it don't spread it to all of them so uh, as far as what i'm going to do with this overgrown thing right here is i'm going to remove damaged pieces and i only have one that is damaged and that would be this one right here you'll see uh all the other ones have make kind of a v shape here and that's the way they're supposed to this one should be a v coming out this way and it was weighted down with fruit last year and it kind of bent over so it is not completely broken but if it gets any fruit on it this year it's just going to stress the plant so i am going to take and cut them and while i'm shooting this video i'm just going to let the branches go on the ground. I'm going to come back and pick them up later. So what I want to do is basically have my trunk about 18 to 24 inches off the ground with no growth coming out on it. So that's what I'm mainly going to work on this year. So I'm going to take off this shoot, this shoot, and the big one down there that I'm going to need the loppers on. And just as far as the amount of wood that I'm taking off, that's about all I'm going to do this year. Uh, I'm sorry, there's one more thing. I'm also going to cut the top off up here because that's probably about seven feet. So we're probably about eight, eight and a half foot already, and it's reaching for the sky, and I don't want it to get too tall. So probably just right up where that V is. I'm going to go ahead and cut just above that, and I don't mind it going off to the sides. What I don't want is for it to keep the leader to keep going straight up. So just to try to keep it from growing up too horribly tall. And that's about it. So what I do here, you've already seen me make one cut and I'm just gonna come in and I wanna be about a quarter of an inch away from the trunk here so that I heal up okay. And same with this one right here. Uh, let me come up just a little bit closer right there. And then this one I'm gonna need to, that one right there, I'm going to need the big loppers. Okay, so this is the shape of the tree here. It is a vase shape, which is about what I want. If I could trim some more, which I don't want to do right now, I don't like the way that this branch is coming up because I have the other branches so close here. So any fruit is going to weight it down and I will have limbs touching. So I would probably remove this one right here and... Maybe selectively, uh, I have some, I have too close right here, so I would have to choose that. But for this year, I'm going to let it go. And because of the amount of trimming that I've already done on this tree, and next year, I will go ahead and do some more selective pruning on it. But for right now, I'm happy with this tree. Tree number two, and again, I have some stuff down here on the bottom. I want to take out so i am probably going to leave just because this one right here is coming up at that angle i'm going to leave that this one that's coming out straighter it's going to be too close to that one so i will take this out and what i'm looking for is a healthy tree going going uh forward so again this one is more horizontal i want the angle and that's a little closer than i wanted to to the the trunk of the tree and also this one that's coming out in an angle i have that side shoot right back here so i'm going to take that one off and hmm trying to figure out whether to take this one i think for right now i'm going to go ahead and leave that now if you look up here i have this branch coming off at this angle and this one coming up 
but I have one that's shooting back in towards the trunk here. This one's coming back in towards the trunk. I, I, in this case, I want it to go further away from the trunk. So I'm going to come right in here and just take this whole thing off like that. And I have a similar situation up here. I have two that are parallel. Again, in the future, it will cause problems. And I am going to take the lower one on this. And I think that's all I'm going to do on this this year. So I don't see anything else damaged. I don't see anything else that's in danger of touching another branch this year. In the future, I have this branch right here that is coming up. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it and just see how it goes. And yep, I am going to call it done with this. Uh, Okay, this is tree number three, and I don't have too much to do here. So I am going to take this one right here just because it's growing out, and I haven't really cut too much much else off of here. Also, let me point out this. If you see the damage right here, that is caused by a cicada. They come and they scratch the wood, and then they drop their eggs off in there, and it definitely causes some damage and they really, really hit fruit trees hard. So we had the 17 year cicada cycle a little while back and it really caused some issues for us. Um, one other I think I'm going to take is this one right here because it is kind of shooting back and years down the line could cause issues for us. So let me grab that one. I really think I'm gonna take this one right here just because it's going right towards that number four it's very small been struggling a little and the only thing i have is to cut off little dead wood right there and i'm going to get a little closer with that dead wood and i think i'm going to leave it right there murphy says hi tree number five and i do have a little bit of dead wood i see and i think based on the way that this thing is growing so I'm only about 12 inches off the ground there. So I am going to take this whole thing off right now, even though I like the angle a little better. It's just not quite far enough off the ground. So I am going to take that whole thing right there and I may get a little closer on that. And then I saw a piece right here that was damaged last year and just needs to be cut a little shorter. So we'll leave that and hmm. You know what? I am just going to take this whole piece off right here because I have this one going off in that direction. This one's somewhat coming back in, and I really don't want it coming back in too much. So I will. On tree number six, and this one is a mess, although I know that at least one of the ones that we have coming up is even a worse mess. So I got all kinds of crisscross going on in right here. And as I look at it, this is the worst culprit right here because it's coming back in towards the center and then I have stuff going every which way. So I'm just gonna take that whole thing off right here and let me come down a little bit further right there and pull that out. Then I have this one, this vertical one that's coming back into the center. And basically I don't want anything coming back into the center. So let me cut that. And I have another one right here coming back in the center. We'll drop that one. And this one, actually that's got some dead wood on it. So let me take this whole thing off right here. Okay. Although this one is coming somewhat towards the center, I'll leave it for now. These lower branches here, they are too low. So I'm gonna take that one and that one now. And I changed my mind, I am gonna get that one off. Okay, and this one is coming right back in towards the center. So I'm gonna get it. And that one is already touching another branch right here. So I'm going to cut it. And let me look, do we have anything else damaged? I'll be honest with you, I really don't like this little stub right here because it's right next parallel to another one that's real close. So I'm just gonna cut it. And, oh, here's another 
dead end right here I can cut out. Tree seven, and overall I like the shape of this one. I like how high off the ground it is before we branch out anywhere, but I don't like a lot of the crisscrossing and stuff that we have, and there is some damaged wood. So anything that is growing back in towards the center, like this one right here, we are going to cut out. And this one right here, um, yeah, we'll cut it all the way back to here. And let's see, I gotta say this one right here is not really causing a problem right now, but as the tree gets bigger, it will. And there's a couple up there that are touching. I'm gonna need a ladder for that. So I will do that later. Right now I'm just trying to do the low hanging fruit. Um, this one right here is growing back in towards the center again, not causing a problem now, but it will. So I'll trim that. And you can see that one right there. I don't know what the heck happened to it, but it's coming back. So let's talk about this. So this one you'll see is it's coming up. I don't really mind the, the branch itself here. So there's a little node right here. That's where a leaf comes out. If I cut it just above that, then what it will do is it will send out a branch in that direction going away from where I cut it. So that may actually be okay. So we'll give that a try, see what it does. This branch right here has a lot of damage on it. Yeah, it's already dead. So I'm gonna trim it. Actually, I'm gonna take it right back to the main tree itself. Let me see if this one has any damage on it. No, it's good and alive. And I could certainly do more. I'm definitely gonna do more up on the top with a ladder later, but for the most part, Actually, I do see one other right here that's kind of coming back in towards the center. And this one is coming back in towards the center. And for right now, I'm going to call it quits on this one. Again, I will do some higher stuff on a ladder work, but I'm not going to be holding the camera while I'm the, on the ladder. So we'll let this one go. And this one right here is the worst mess of all. It's just got branches going everywhere, all crisscrossing. I'm real down low. I'm only about four inches off the ground here before these guys come out. I'm gonna have to leave this. I have this one that comes out right here and you can see it V's off. This one comes and it hits other branches over here. That one goes the other way and hits branches. So let's see, let me take some of the low hanging fruit and see if we can clean this up. So we will take that one and I'm gonna need the loppers for this one. Okay, I just trimmed it with the loppers and let it drop. So let me pull it out. Let's see what we're left with. I think I'm gonna take this whole limb right here off. And I think I'm gonna take this whole limb off. Okay, I did a severe pruning, a lot more than I normally would have, but this is a wild pawpaw. It's not a name grafted that I paid for. It was given to me, so uh, hopefully it will do fine. That's a lot more aggressive than I would like to have. Eventually, I would like to take this branch and that branch off and just have the central leader, but I, I want to give it at least some chance of living here. So hopefully that will make it. And if you have any questions on pruning or doing anything here, go ahead and leave them in the show notes and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.